Welcome back to more High Shard Expert Challenges. Last time we did, where is it? No champion, no problem, one of the easiest ones. Um, we went Thorn Eater because Thorn Eater is a very fun strategy, but between the extra banners and the highly reactive, it, this is a really strong and easy challenge. Um, we're now onto Dangerous Minds, which is also really strong. Double Draft's a little bit annoying, harder to do infinites if you try for it. Levity, same, also annoying. But Hive Mind is just so strong. Um, because all units are all unit types, we are going to go Primordium. And we're going to pair this with Hellhorned. Uh, that gives us Demons, Imps, Morsels, Train Stewards, and Champions as unit types. Uh, that's a lot of good unit types, so we are going to hopefully have fun with that. We get a lot of damage shield to start and a hidden passage, okay. We want artifacts that, oh sorry, we got Daedalus Indiscriminate, so that's the Pinger, Arctis Shadow Incarnate, Surf the Chaste. We take the Advanced Prototype, oh my goodness, yes we do. Come on, Superfood. Superfood, look at this Superfood, this is going to be insane. All right. We are starting out strong. Yeah, who cares if you say unit draft? I am going to just destroy you, game. Uh, we ping once. We have to let this through. Um, we can drop this as well. And we ping out one more and apply a damage shield. Yeah. All right, we drop a train steward. Now we kill everything. We are just going to take that out to save myself some more damage shield. But now we're passing on multi strike, which is good. We drop this as a blocker. We're going to ping some more because I can. We're going to drop them like this. Um, Yeah, that's a kill. <laughs> uh, everything being a train steward. Look at these pumped up morsels. With the multi-strike and plus 5, plus ten, 5. Okay. As such, we're just going to skip. Uh, we Do we take the fledgling now? Or do we take the double ritual? We take the double ritual battle. All right, ooh, there we go. Morsel Master shenanigans, yes, please. We see what the artifact has us. More champion health is more health to all of our units. Um, we see endless and it's 25. We skip, those guys aren't important. We're gonna reroll, quick. Eh. Damage shield's not bad though. I mean, we already start with damage shield, so I don't think I need it. I was hoping for multi-strike, because, you know, you always hope for multi-strike. That's how this game works. All right, if I drop you, that's 30 damage, plus 8, 8. You know what? Let's just try it, see what happens. Um, and we are going to bop, bop, I guess we just ping here. Save myself a little bit of damage shield on the one. We just do something like this. Look at all those train stewards. Because why not? 81 times 8. Yeah. Okay. I think we got that. Uh, space prisms. Because we want space. Because we're doubling things. We don't need these. Tiresome climbs. Good. But I think we have damage shield to cover that. Shadow siege. <laughs> oh, man. Man. 
hilarious. Um, we're gonna take it. I don't. It's not to play the unit. It's gonna be an infusion, spell chain plus ten and piercing. Hold over. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna minus one, minus one a ritual. We are going to see what's here, because uh, nothing really needs these upgrades. I do and now. Ooh. Hmm. The only issue is I could do the Shadow, sh shadow Siege, but I can't. Right. So that would put me at five Ember. I would still need to take an Ember, and I would still need a intrinsic one of these to play the Shadow Sieges. Um, which is fine. It's just not the best. Uh, so we're just going to take the Calcified Embers, mainly because I can't take advantage of a lot of the shenanigans you can do with Hive Mind if there's a Shadow Siege there. Now I will, of course, keep one of them. Uh, we do that. We do a plus 10 piercing on a torch. We do this nonsense. We are going to purge one of these Morsel Masters. There we go. Okay. Awesome, we get the good stuff. We drop you, we drop you. We're just gonna blink a couple of times and we send that into our boss. Look at the size of this guy. Look at all that multi-strike. Three hundred damage into the boss. Very cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure we get the kill next time it comes down. I could probably raise you up one, and I, he probably goes mid next floor, but uh. Don't think it's necessary. Ah, you go bottom. Wow. That's a little surprising. Go my chump blockers. Go my 143 times 8 attacker. And we get a flying kill. We take a Shroud Spike. Oh my goodness, yes, thank you. We skip these, we have enough units. We take the plus draw. All right, um, do we go for the Multi-Strike or do we go for the Artifact and Purges? Hmm. I think we just go for the Artifact and Purges, honestly. Uh, Scorched Steel's not bad. Chain of Gems now. We take the Scorched Steel. We see another Shadow Siege. Wow. This game is trying to do something and it's unfortunately not going to work. Intrinsic. So we are going to Intrinsic one of you. We are going to unfortunately purge the Shadow Siege into a Train Steward. Yeah. Okay. We take the superfood too. We vortex out a couple of things. Let's get rid of, obviously, two plinks. There we go. Let's continue onwards. We're going to do some bottom floor gaming here. It's going to be hilarious. We go you. We go you, we eat that, we're already at six multi-strike. 
and 23 <laughs> damage shield. Oh man. Uh, we give this one the days. You can go away. Man, is this always fun. Uh, we're just going to play this one. We're going to save this guy, see if I can swing back around. 11 multi-strike. Pretty nice, right? We might as well just do it a couple of times. Get rid of the other spike. Alright, is this enough to win? Consensus says yes. We are going to raise one of these up because I want to get the kill. Bam. Okay. We skip again. We don't need any of that junk. Impish Scholar. I love an Impish Scholar. Important work is hilarious because it works on every single unit in the deck. So I could like get some morsels and then sack it. Um, I don't think that's what we want to do. We are going to take the Impish Scholar though because uh, returning excavated embers and spikes are hilarious. We are going to go to the Merchant of Magic which shows us a remove consume. Ooh. Uh, give me more money. Purge minus one plus 30. So we do another plus 30 here. We do a purge minus one into a plink. Uh, we're going to look at the map. How many more temples do I got? I got one, two more temples. So we can put train steward into train steward and we're going to save those guys, right? So one, yeah, two temples total. We're going to remove, consume one of these. We're going to minus one of that. We re-roll. We can minus one this as well. Double stack isn't needed. And we get rid of a torch. And why not another? Well, no, no, no. We want money um, probably for that. Yeah. Get some good re-rolls. Yeah, we want more money here as well. Ho oh, ho, yes. Wow, that's a hand. And I think we just, we do this. <laughs> okay. I think I could just literally hit end turn from here to the end and win. Um, we are going to drop you. We'll gain 120 gold. I think my guy is killing. Just a guess. Uh, we're going to drop you again. I guess we give all the space up here. This has the highest chance of hitting something good. Why not? Just keep the stats a raisin. Whoop, did those in the wrong order. I want to do that one. It's okay. We do get two Ember Drain, because, you know, Ember Drain. We almost get the kill there. If we didn't Ember Drain ourselves, I think if we get the other Rage on here, we would have gotten a kill. Which is hilarious. Alright. I think I have this. <laughs> cool. Um, no thanks. 
Pyre Chompers? Yes, please. You never know when more Ember is going to get us something good. Multi-Strike on all Demons. Friendly units get plus five. Very cool. Uh, goodbye, Torch. And goodbye, Torch. Very cool. I think we have a little bit of power. You are stealth, which is annoying, but we will get through it. All right, we've won. <laughs> which is hilarious. Oh, oh. Yes, we will definitely do this. 18 times. All righty. Um, I don't think it really matters here. I could do these, but I don't get any stats for eating them. We're just going to send you up. Torch out that. Because I can get some more damage shield. Call it good. Let's plink. Ah, we miss. We will take the Ember Drain. A more damage shield into my dude. Just for the fun of it. Even though it's not needed. Oh boy, the days. Plink? Nope. More rage? Sounds good to me. That floor is doing fine. Plinks? Cool. Fair damage shield, and uh, we'll just drop another train steward. Get my ember, get some of this, get a pair of these guys, because it's hilarious. Alright, mega train stewards, defend me. We do lose one. But I think we get through it with our 113 damage shield and 59 strikes. Alright, more rage, more wretch. Yes. Gimme that wretch. Divine artifact. Uh, we're just going to take 25 gold because we are so strong. Even that plus 100% health would be a little excess. I mean, a fun excess, but a little bit excess. All right, Concealed Caverns shows us <clears throat> money. I will take money. And Ember. Merchant of Magic shows us double stack minus one. Divine Temple shows us a minus two. And a plus 10 Pierce. Um, most of the power comes from Shout Spikes, so we minus two there. We can plus ten Pierce a Plink. And we go ahead and put an Impish Scholar inside a Pyre Chomper. We minus one this ritual. Like it, I like it. We hold over Wretch. Now, I guess the question is, so that's the dupe side. So I don't see any spell chains. Um, I could get like another remove consume, but meh. And 
Superfood 3? Yeah. More damage shield, why not? Chased is going to cut down my damage shield and rage, but uh, it is not going to change the amount of multi-strike I have. So you know, I still think we win. Oh no, how will we get through this? Bam. Enter. All right, one floor cleared. We are going to Ember, Ember, Rage, and get you 16 times. Alrighty. That is not the one we want, so we're just going to Train Steward, Train Steward this. I'm going to try to maximize my joy here. Um, Impish Scholars. Cool. Draw, draw. Darn it. You go away. More rage. More damage shield. I guess that's my fault for doing not doing the space prisms correctly. Ember. This. Plinks. Whatever. We do lose one of them. That's great. We take that out because uh, we don't want it in front. Cool. Darn. Not the one I wanted. That's fine. Uh, we just do this. We get up to 75 attacks. Bam. Very cool. Give me the money. Ember Cash, we're just going to skip for now. <laughs> More Impish Scholars. Um, we can't do an infinite, unfortunately. We could get like a double summon, so we're going to take the Impish Scholars because they're hilarious. We're just going to go money, money, merchant of magic. Yeah, that's definitely the right call. Conserve Ember. We take that. Rage plus three is great. Another double stack. Lame. Uh, we do this. Reroll. Hold over. I already have a good hold over target, so that's not needed. Minus one. He has a free torch. We are going to get rid of torch one and a prismal dust because we the prismal dust is just an ember sink. We get rid of another prismal dust. Thank you. And we get rid of the gem trove. All right, the Unbroken Horn's nice because now I can cast my Ember Imps right away and feel good about it. Ooh, can I get the kill turn one? Shame my Imps cost Ember. Um... Yes. <laughs> okay. 27 attacks by 249 damage will get us there. That was simple. Sure, Shire Divinity, why not?
And wow, okay. Um, we go like this. Very cool. We drop an Impish Scholar. We get more Ember. We drop a Pyre Chomper. We drop a Pyre Chomper. We get some more Ember. We drop an Impish Scholar. <laughs> we get some more Ember. Uh, we drop you. We drop you. We get 30 beatings. And we get a kill. Good game. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh wait, I forgot to let those... Let's see, wait for the text to go away. It's still going, it's still going, it's still going. It's still going, it's still going. Come on, you can do... There we go. Okay, continue. Thanks, Hef. Uh, that was definitely very much needed. Uh, start of Divinity. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> run summary. No new records. This just tells you about something about my other runs. Very quick run. Um, the <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, every unit is every unit type. Hive mind's just kind of insane. So everything was a steward. So everything got multi strike one, damage shield two, and plus five plus five. Everything was a champion. So everything got plus fifty percent health. Everything was a demon. So they all got multi strike one. Um, yeah, and it just was since this was also by the way a morsel, I could actually target with with shroud spike. Um, so I dropped down my Shadow Siege, in, or my Morsel Master with Shadow Siege Infusion, who comes down as a 70-90, by the way, because of it being a champion. So, sorry, actually, I think Advanced Prototype applies first. So it's a 75-65, so what? 75-97, you could actually check the video. I'm just running quick numbers. Drop those. Hit it with the in, <laughs> the intrinsic shroud spike for at least six, right? Because minus one ember, but this has minus one cost. So the remaining, so that's plus, so that's an X equals three times two is six, yeah. Um, which each of them gave me multi-strike times two. It's 12 more multi-strike at a minimum into something that already has three strikes. Uh, so that's 15 strikes there. Yeah. Plus it's starting three rage plus another 36 rage. Um, Pyre Chompers, of course, just for the Ember. The Impish Scholars there as well because they can return something like the excavated embers I got that round. <laughs> Kept the train sewers because why not? Yeah. Anyways, this was stupid. This was fun. This is probably this in the previous expert challenge, the no champion, no problem, dangerous minds. They are probably the two easiest ones. Um, so thank you for watching and have fun.